In the beginning was the God of the universe. His name was Ahura Mazda. He was surrounded by the good spirits. Their name was Amisha Spentas. Together they represented truth. But truth was not the only thing in the universe. It was surrounded also by the opponent by the name of Ahiman, or sometimes called Drudge. And Ahiman was surrounded by the demons, also called the Devas. And they represented the lie. Ahura Mazda wanted to defeat the lie and bring only truth into the universe. And so he created a world. The world was to become the stage into which Ahura Mazda wanted to draw Ahiman to begin the battle between the truth and the lie. But there must be a reason for Ahiman to come onto the stage and so Ahura Mazda created people. The people become the bait that Ahiman wanted to catch and tempt so that they would believe the lie rather than the truth. People have free will and so with the free will they can choose between the lie or the truth. And so that people knew what to believe, Ahura Mazda sent a prophet. His name is Zoroaster. Zoroaster teaches people that they should have good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. As people age and come near death and die, they will have four days after their death until they have to walk over Shinvat, a bridge bridging the world into the other side. The righteous would have an easy way, the bridge is wide and there is no trouble coming into the desirable beautiful place called the House of Song. But the unrighteous, for them the bridge was very narrow, razor thin, and they would easily fall off this bridge into the abyss of darkness and hell. Life goes on for 1,000 years after which Ahura Mazda decided to send Zoroaster again to remind the people of what they should follow, that they should follow truth and not the lie. History moves on for another thousand years when Ahura Mazda repeats the visit by the prophet and Zoroaster teaches again what needs to be taught to believe the truth and not the lie. After 3,000 years are complete, Zoroaster is born again from a virgin to be part of the final battle and help with the judgment. In the final battle, Ahura Mazda becomes victorious and becomes truly the only Lord of the universe.
he defeats Ahiman and Draj. And truth defeats the lie. When Ahiman is moved away, hell is being opened up. And those who were suffering in hell are also invited to come into the house of songs.